Hey, what is up guys? DRC3 here, back with another My Hero Ultra Impact video, and today we finally have an update in the game after maintenance took literally hours, almost a full day. It was supposed to be done at 3 a.m. and it ended at, what, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for me, and that was actually ridiculous. Like a massive, massive update to the game, and I assume they probably found some bugs while they were updating it, so I'm glad that they took the time to work out the bugs and didn't like publish the game with bugs in it. Hopefully, we'll see when it uh, actually happens. There's still kind of one bug which we'll talk about, which we I hope is a bug, but we'll, we'll see here in a second. So first off, we have new gifts. We got a 50 hero gem bonus for cooperating with maintenance in addition to an additional 40 for the extension of the maintenance. So 90 hero gems just for maintenance, which is nice. That's a lot more than they usually give us. We're getting stamina times 300 as well for the maintenance, which is really, they, they niced us because they messed up and made the maintenance so long, right? And then we are getting a extra 100 hero gems coming up on the 14th for white day which is already kind of started in game we are also getting a white day background that background is actually pretty cool it's like a blue present you can kind of see a little picture of it right here i'm not going to display the full thing but yeah that's nice as well and then we are also getting just these normal uh retweet campaign stuff going on with stamina and uh mat items and then we are also getting the anime season six recruit tickets up until the end of the anime episodes airing so so all those are gifts that are coming in the game. Next, we have a climax battle coming to the game. This will be starting on the 19th. And so get ready for Gentle Criminal. Make sure your red characters are ready. They are leveled up. They have their ability boards done because you are going to be able to take on Gentle Criminal once again. Next, we have the special recruit that is currently going on, the White Day Recruit. It's already in the game. You can buy a special ticket in the shop where you can get either uh, UA High Boys or you can get Villains or Pro Hero Boys. And honestly, I skipped this. This is the biggest bait ever. Do not spend anything on this banner. I will not be spending a single Hero Gem on this banner, a single Silver Ticket. Do not waste anything on this banner. It is not going to be nearly as good as the other banners that are coming up, and we'll talk about those here right now. So the first banner to talk about is White Hair Dobby is finally coming to the game, and we're going to go over his kit here in a few minutes, but I am so excited for White Hair Dobby. This guy is actually going to be so cool. I've taken a, a quick little peek at his kit, and it looks insane and he is going to be a general pool unit from what i understand so that is awesome as well also we are getting an sr endeavor alongside him and the sr this time is very good very very good so this is a banner like they have made this ban banner very 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 appealing and it, it hurts me it hurts me that they made this banner so appealing because of what is coming out alongside this character and this banner so this banner starts on the 15th and it runs until the first so but alongside this banner coming out a few days after this banner we are getting heroes assemble banners impact fest times 1.5 times rates and these are going to be starting on the 21st so we are getting these banners for jiro kaminari and ida all three of them are coming back on the 21st and it's going to run till the 27th so that kind of sucks that they're putting them right alongside dobby one of like the most anticipated uh characters along other than you know white sh white haired shigaraki and vigilante deku but like white haired dobby is still so hype and he's going to be so so good and he's actually like i you'll see when we get to his kit but like i'm kind of freaking out over him a little bit but it is going to be a hard decision for some people to summon either on dobby or on this because dobby is so good as a general pool unit but i will say he is a general pool unit whereas these are impact fest characters you can't normally pull so make your decision based on that i will do a pass or pull where i go a little bit more in depth and try to analyze like whether it's good to pull or not but like Oh man, why do they have to do this to us? It's actually painful. Oh, uh, this is the biggest part of the update. This is really exciting right here. New futures added. The new club's future adds more social fun. Aim to become the top club. Gather up all your friends and have fun. In clubs, find awesome futures like member chats. Keep an eye out for the club pass where you can, you and other club members can work together to get amazing rewards. And so you are going to have missions in these clubs. If you complete these missions, it looks like you get coins. And so getting those coins will be really nice uh, because we have lost kind of our coin farm in the events currently and i'm guessing that was to make way for clubs actually having quite a bit of use and so i am excited for clubs now the problem with clubs 
and this is something Hydros, who did this data mine, who got this information, found out and posted in the Discord, is they set the start date for clubs to appear in the game to 2024. Now, if that's not a bug, I don't know what is, or maybe they were just holding off on actually like releasing it because they were having issues with it. I don't know. We don't really know what's going on, but uh, we are supposed to be getting clubs hopefully sometime this month would be the the thought process here especially with all these assets in game right uh so hopefully they'll end up fixing that why they decided to call it clubs i don't know i guess it's because you can't call it like a hero agency and have villains in the cl in the hero agency right so they just decided to call it clubs in general i i don't know but yeah club all right so that is the new future coming to the game we also have these little snippets here for you know what they'll advertise on twitter and stuff like that new clubs future added you have the club pass which is kind of like a battle pass i'm assuming you know every game's got to have one nowadays you got the join club button this is what you're going to be able to do to join a club you have the create club button and some people are already probably thinking some people have asked me in in discord already actually are you going to create a club uh yes i will be creating my own club so if you guys would like to join that it will be uh acceptance like not everybody's going to be able to join because clubs are limited to 30 people so unfortunately not everybody's going to be able to join but if you are active in the game i would gladly welcome you into the club you will have to be in the discord though because i will pick people from discord first and then here is a little snippet of what a club looks like it's looking kind of like another hero base to me uh so i hope it has more functionality and more uses than the hero base currently has but we'll see when we end up getting it and you can see right there member count 30 and currently clubs can be leveled up they go all the way up to level 20 once you hit max level i don't think you go beyond that we'll have to see what the missions and what the passes include in them though and then you can also pick club colors. I don't know what the club colors are specifically going to change like in this previous screenshot right here. I don't know how those are going to work exactly, but you can pick your club colors. So that's kind of nice too. a lot of functionality, a lot of things going on with clubs that are very, very cool. In my opinion, I am excited for clubs. I'm nervous for clubs to see how it turns out. But yeah, so there's also going to be club actions that people can see uh, that like see you do and stuff like that so if you get an item it, i i would call this kind of like what grand cross does like when somebody pulls something in a summon but uh if you get an item people will be able to see that if you have unlocked all of a character's basic route or their peace route or dx route stuff like that people will be able to see that if a character is awakened you'll be able to see that and character's trust level is now at x level something like that so yeah whatever that means that's something hydros posted in the discord there i'm not sure what x level means but uh yeah so that's a a thing and then in addition I'm gonna pull my discord over right here so you guys can see because I am not gonna pull up all of these in separate tabs there's just so many of them right uh, we have a ton of club stamps coming to the game so you have like a good job Todoroki you have these Deku ones the Baku one like some of these are really cute the good night ones are really cute with Asui like you got some uh, cool stamps going on there so a bunch of stamps coming to the game as well along with clubs now we're gonna get into the Dobby banner and what all is going to be involved in the Dobby banner. So alongside the Dobby banner, we are getting this free to play event memory. This free to play event memory is called the shortest route. It increases character skill impact by 30% when equipped by a villain, increases characters plus ultra gauge by 10% every time character burns, also lowers chance of becoming frozen or getting frostbite. Honestly, I don't know where this is gonna have a lot of uses, but once again, the art team is killing it. I am happy that we're getting the white haired Dobby like that's hype right but I know a lot of people wanted other villains like spinner or uh, compress or stuff like that they'll come eventually guys I'm sure they will uh, but for now I, I think we should all be very happy with white haired Dobby considering uh, they haven't released too many characters from season six so far at least not the super hype ones that we're all really really wanting right they're they've been holding back on them because they're going to release them later so them the fact that they're giving us white haired dobby i am happy with that and then alongside the event memory this is going to be the summonable sr memory towards the plan when equipped by a villain increases character's max HP by 30% and skill impact by 30% once per battle gives character ability to evade two times when HP is below 30%. Uh, once again, it's going to be an SR memory. I don't see a ton of uses for it. It's okay, but the art, once again, amazing, really, really good art. Now the UR memory, this one is interesting and it is very, very useful, very good memory overall in my opinion. It's called Gaming and Driving. When character is burning, it increases character's critical skill impact by 60%. 
Keep in mind, this is DX though. And critical hit rate by 50% also reduces burning damage to character by 40%. And all of those are really important, especially when we take a look at the new Dobby. So yeah, this memory is actually insane. It's a really, really, really good memory, like insanely good memory. So the SR Endeavor, I did say that he is actually pretty good. I took a quick glance at his kit already, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, and I am impressed with this SR's kit. So let's talk about it. His plus ultra move is called Ignited Arrow, deals 500% damage to a single opponent. High chance, 70% on an SR is good, of burning the opponent for three turns. Increase the skill impact by 40% if the opponent is a villain, even better. His first action skill is called Flame Knuckles, deals 300% damage to a single opponent, increases characters plus ultra gauge by 30%, which is great plus ultra is great for ve tower when used in a successfully executed skill chain also great that's a technical hit skill impact is increased by 40 percent if the opponent is a villain with a cooldown time of four phenomenal that's a good action skill very good for an sr his second action skill is called flash fire fist hell spider deals 250 percent damage to all opponents medium chance 40 percent of burning the opponents for three turns increases skill impact by 40 percent if one of the opponents is a villain really good because you have a chance of burning all opponents on an action skill that is a medium chance 40 percent really really good like he has technical hits he has plus ultra gauge rays he has status ailments he has a 70 percent chance status ailment up here like that's really really good but it gets better his first auto skill is called all out firepower it increases characters critical hit rate by 40 percent when hp is 50 percent or higher he also gets a 40 percent crit boost which is ridiculous and then his second auto skill the path of number one increases characters critical skill impact by 30 percent if shoto Todoroki is on the team. Easy to accomplish. We use Todoroki's all the time in VE Tower. Also shortens character's action skill cooldown time by one every three turns up to two times. Okay, so that's a little bit insane. So we're taking these four turn cooldowns, turning them into three turns, two turn cooldowns. Like that's uh, really, really good. So he has great cooldowns. He has critical, he has status elements, he has technicals. Like he is an amazing SR unit, really, really good. And actually has some pretty good art. Like this art right here, I love this art for endeavors. Like this is great. This is absolutely amazing. They are making this banner so hard to pass up because we know the fantasy banners are dropping right after the Dobby banner, but like even the SR character is insane, right? So now let's talk about Dobby. Dobby just gets even better. Like, oh my gosh, you just insane. All right, so plus ultra move, uh, flash fire fist, prominence burn, deals 500% damage to all opponents. High chance, 90% of burning all opponents in hellfire. That's ridiculous. This skill gains piercing shots if character is burning. I think that piercing shot is separate from the hellfire damage. So you are getting not only your normal uh, damage with piercing shot, you are also getting the hellfire damage, making this hit all opponents for a massive, massive amount of damage, if I am understanding that right. It might just be piercing shot for the hellfire, but I don't think that's how it works. I think hellfire and piercing shot, two separate status things. And so the piercing shot is just your normal damage will do the piercing shot and then you have hellfire in addition to it but still that is piercing shot on an attack all plus ultra that is the first character in game to have an attack all plus ultra with piercing shot and if you have been paying attention at all right now in the current meta uh, piercing shot is super valuable especially with the new kirishima and this is going to be uh, interesting to see i don't know that he's going to have enough damage actually because it's only a 500 percent plus ultra uh to change the meta but it it'll be interesting. We'll have to do some testing to see, but really interesting character that he has piercing shot and hellfire on his plus ultra. His first action skill. First off, I'm just gonna note, cooldown time of three, ridiculous. Deals 400% damage to a single opponent. Also increases character's critical hit rate by 30% for three turns. He does not need this right here because of what his auto skills do, but that 30% is just gonna make it icy on the cake, insane. Now, this is a little bit different from the normal Dobby in that it is not an attack all. It is a single opponent but it's still good and it doesn't matter. Like we don't need to attack alls on this Dobby and you'll see why when we get down to his auto skills, but like this is still fine. Cooldown time of three, amazing. His second action skill is called Blue Corruption. Deals 300% damage to all opponents. High chance, again, 90% of burning the opponents in Hellfire. 
and the cooldown time on this is four turns so that's still really good and it may seem like really simple things here but that's because the auto skills go so hard all right so the first auto skill cynical smile increases character skill impact by 10 percent per turn up to five times increases characters plus ultra gauge by 10 percent after receiving an attack from an opponent who is burning burns all opponents for three turns every turn every turn every turn okay so we don't need these to burn we don't need his action skills to have a burn because he's burning opponents for three turns so no matter what they're always going to have a three turn burn on them and why is that important because it's, uh it is important because the way hellfire works hellfire uh does the amount of damage that those three turns would have done in one turn that's how hellfire works right so burns all opponents for three turns every turn insane and then burns character for one turn every turn this effect cannot be nullified or canceled that's also insane i don't know if that just applies to this part i assume it just applies to this part where it says burns character for one turn every turn but if that applies to burning all opponents every turn and it can't be nullified or canceled that is broken that is literally broken but i don't think that's how that's going to work we'll have to wait and see when the character comes out in game and then for his last auto skill, Bold Command, when character is burning, because he's always burning and it can't be nullified, right? Lowers chance of all allies becoming frozen or getting frostbite, nice. Reduces burning damage to all allies by 20%, nice. And decreases speed of all opponents by 30%. So in PvP, like he's great for PvE, but in PvP, I'm gonna be interested to see how he works out because he can stop potentially you from getting frozen or from getting those annoying frostbites, you know, that interrupt your skill chain. So he's gonna help with that a lot. That's gonna be really, really interesting. And then decreasing speed of all opponents by 30%, that is also like really, really good. So it's gonna be interesting to see how this Dobby ends up working, see how he fits into PvP. As far as PvE goes, he's gonna be ridiculous. He has ridiculous critical hit rate, right? He has ridiculous status ailments. Like he's gonna be really, really good for PvE. It, that goes without saying, and he has low cooldowns, but it'll be interesting to see how he is in PvP. But this Dobby, overall, ridiculous and then let's take a look at his art like oh this moment this moment guys you have to summon for this character but at the same time you don't want to because the fantasies are coming back like this is the hardest decision why do they do this to us let me know what you guys are going to do down in the comments like this is this is rough actually and i do have one more like tidbit of news that i think is actually pretty massive and pretty big to share with you guys and that is this image right here you're like what is this image uh well this is a image for an action skill that is not currently in the game it is for a fire character right but this is not an action skill for the new sr endeavor this is an action skill presumably for a UR Endeavor that might be coming in the future. So heads up, we might be getting a UR Endeavor in the future. And that ends all the news. I know it was a massive amount of news. It was a massive update. Obviously it took them forever, ridiculous amount of time, but hopefully this helps you guys out, helps you guys get prepared for what is coming up in the game. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year and I need your guys' help. So please, if you are not subscribed, hit that button. and to everybody who watches these videos. Thank you so much. I appreciate every single one of you. Peace.